This is the Look Back Wrestling Show, and I'm your host, Ali Zaka. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Look Back Wrestling Show. You already know who I am. And today's going to be a very long episode. It's going to be a very long episode because I want to talk a lot about the Royal Rumble and all the surprises that came with it. And then we'll jump into this week's Raw Smackdown. You know, the excitement to the... We're back at the status quo. Whoa. All right. Let's jump into the Royal Rumble. Start my timer. Hopefully I get this done in seven minutes. Eight minutes. We'll see. So the Royal Rumble, I'm not going to do the pre-show. If you want to watch the pre-show, you can go to um, YouTube and watch it or WWE Network to watch it. Or you, know, you can listen to Steven Larson's review of it. You can listen to Wrestling with Regret's review of it. But I'm not going to do the pre-show. Just going to do the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So, the show opens up with the WWE title match. It's the handicap title match. Uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And I got this one right, actually. I actually got this one right. It was a slow match. I had a man reaction to it. Just look at my notes here. Um, Kevin Owens wasn't a legal guy when that happened. So, at the end, it was like kind of a bit of a... Um, Kind of a bit of like a weird ending. So Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn trying to reach reach for each other, make the tag, and AJ is holding Sami Zayn back. And as AJ started to move forward, Sami Zayn missed Kevin Owens with the tag. And Kevin Owens can't. And before Kevin Owens comes to the ring, Sami Zayn gets knocked over the top rope by AJ. Then Kevin Owens starts wrestling AJ, and then AJ pins Kevin Owens. The referee thought they made the tag for some reason, and then guess who won? AJ Styles. So I'm thinking to myself here. I'm like. That ending was weird. If Kevin Owens made a complaint, because they made a complaint, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens made a complaint to Shane at the Royal Rumble about, I wasn't a legal man, we got cheated. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, if he wasn't a legal man, why would you keep fighting AJ then? Like, just back off, say, hey, ref, I'm not legal, I'm not legal. No, no, why did you run into the ring? Why did you run into the ring? But then on SmackDown Live the following night, uh, I guess the following Tuesday, Sami Zayn said Kevin Owens got so wrapped up in the emotions, that's why he ran into the ring, and that's why he attacked AJ. Nice save there, writers. Nice save there. So AJ wins. Yes. The next match we get is the Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. And the two out of three match for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team titles. It was a good match, I said, with a sad finish because it didn't go to the third round. It went to two rounds only, which you do a two out of three match, you usually think they're going to go to the third round. They didn't do that. So I was like, you know, change it up, mix up. But the Usos got the first victory, which after a very long time, then the second one came by the Usos again. And Chad Gable and Shelton. Benjamin just didn't pull it off. They couldn't do it. Um, shockingly, because I thought that Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin should win here, and then the Usos and Gable and Benjamin goes into this you know, rivalry for the next couple of months and finish at WrestleMania in this grand match, be a TLC match, or wherever you want it to be. But they didn't do it. They didn't do it. And, um, it, hey, I'll take that L on that one. I didn't predict that one to be right. And then we get to the Man's Royal Rumble, which has some bunch of shenanigans in it, a bunch of good stuff. But love the match. So Baron Corbin had a very surprise exit. That was I was not expecting. That. I think he was number four, number four, or number three, and he went out really quick. And when he did that, he laid waste everyone, like Finn Balor and who is the Iron Man of the match. He was in the match for 57 minutes. Finn Balor and Rusev started the match. Rusev was super over. Like, Rusev day chance all throughout the Barclay Center. I think Barclay, Barclay's in Philly. Nope. Wells Fargo. Sorry about that. Barclay's in uh, New York. In the Wells Fargo Center, they, they love Rusev. Rusev day, Rusev day, Rusev day. And... Finn Balor and Rusev went at it. You know, after Baron Corbin got knocked out, 
He lay race of Finn Balor, lay race of Russo, lay race of Rhino. Rhino was the third guy. Um, lay race to who else took him out? I can't think who took him out. And then he Slater comes out number five, and he gets clotheslined. And after that, who wants to walk with Elias? Elias Simpson comes out number six, walks down to the ring, and this became a repeated punt that the match was he Slater kept getting beat up by the next entry. So the next entry came out six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They all come like. Push him down or beat him up. Big E fed him pancakes. Um, back to Elias, though. Elias like, that clock won't start until I finish my song. And then for some reason, the clock started. He was like, what? <laughs> what? But, um, yeah, it's just a bunch of shenanigans. Uh, surprise entry was Andrade, Andrade, Cena, Cena Almas? Almas? For NXT. He's an NXT champion. Uh, seen him a couple of years ago. Cena, Cena Amis, Cien, 10, and 100. I think it's 100 fires. I'm so sorry, guys. Andrade, 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 Andrade. Why can't I say his name? Cien Amis, in a way. Sorry about that. I don't know why I can't say his name. You know what I can say it. But Cien Amis comes out. He's a prize entry, the champion who had a heck of a match with uh, Gargano the following night at, yeah, Johnny Gargano. And I forgot this tag team partner name. I probably got the names mixed up now. From DIY. But uh, Johnny Wrestling. But uh, yeah, so he comes out and he, like, he's in a match for a long time too. He put on a good showing. Sheamus was, so Sheamus comes out. I'm like, Sheamus? Why is Sheamus here? He has a tag team match later tonight with, you know, the bar versus Rollins and Jason Jordan. He gets knocked out immediately after Heath Slater finally gets into the ring, uh, which I think is hilarious. And then Heath Slater gets eliminated by Bray. And I was sad. Because I wanted Heath Slater to go the distance just for, just for shenanigans sake. Um, Coffee Kings have made another crazy save by elimination. So Jinder Mahal comes in and eliminates all members of the, of the New Day. Besides Coffee Kings. He's not eliminating Coffee Kingston. Coffee Kingston falls over and then he lands on Xavier Woods. <laughs> Chess. Is there what caught Coffee Kings' left leg? He's like, oh, it's only one leg. It's only one leg. He's safe. Big E finds pancakes. Why is there pancakes? Find pancakes and Coffee Kings is put his left leg on the pancakes. They don't touch the floor. He walks on around the ring a little bit with the pancakes and then sees, like, as Junior Mahal is following him. So he comes back to the part, like the backside of the ring where he got knocked over it. And Big E and Xavier Woods do like a Toss like a uh, toss, and he come out of hands. Gary Coffee King jumps off the arms over Jinder Mahal and eliminates Jinder Mahal. And then John C. and Amos was like, I, I'm just calling C. and Amos, I keep saying his first name. But C. and Amos is like, Nah, man, not in my house. And he, instead of throwing him over where the new day is at, he finds coffee and throws him over the front near the entrance. And all I could think was, Why? Every time Coffee Kingston does this, he does not stay in the match for much longer. I wish he goes the distance with this. Like, if you keep making these miraculous saves, at least have him go to the end. Final six, final eight. Let it be. Let it be. Hey, that's just my thoughts. I'm having fun with it. It was a good match. Guys, I'm over the eight minute mark. Sorry, just a lot of discussion here with this Royal Rumble. Ray Mysterio's back. That was phenomenal. Uh, he was in good shape too. Like, no shirt, tights, good looking. I was like, oh man, Ray Mysterio's look like a hundred bucks. And I hope he's um, staying around for much longer. But I didn't see him on SmackDown Live or Raw. Dolph Ziggler returns at number 30. Then you get the final six Finn Balor versus, or I guess Finn Balor, Nakamura, and Roman Reigns. No, yeah, Roman Reigns versus. Mysterio, Cena, and Orton. That's how they split down the ring. It was those three versus those three. And it's like the old guard versus the new guard. And after that, the final four becomes on Cena, Reigns, Ballard, Nakamura. And all I'm thinking is like, Reigns was my pick to win this. I, I would like Nakamura or Ballard to win, but I don't think it's going to happen. I know John Cena's not going to win. I don't think he'll do that, would he? Would he? And kind of find out. It comes down to the final three, Nakamura, Cena, and Reigns. And Cena's like verbally disrespecting the crowd. And he said they can't, they can talk all they want because the crowd's booing Cena. He's like, they can talk all they want. Like just going at the crowd. And 
then Nakamura beat Cena. So it was Reigns, Reigns and Nakamura. I was like, oh, I saw this coming. But then Nakamura wins. I'm like, oh my gosh, they actually let this happen. Nakamura actually has a, a big victory underneath his notch. Underneath his notch. A big victory underneath his belt for the main roster. It's like, let's go. So Nakamura was asked who he wants at WrestleMania. He was AJ Styles. I hope we get it. 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 And also the Royal Rumble, the first half was like a SmackDown heavy half. And the second half, more of a Raw heavy half. We get the Raw tag team title match, which is a very slow match. Uh, very underwhelming. It was like an injury angle for one. They used JJ, Jason Jordan got like injured. Like apparently Jason Jordan and Kevin Owens were injured in the back. Or in that, like they had the different injuries from like just a couple of events recently. So Jason hasn't been really wrestling that much and Orton been sharing the ring with you no know, Sami Zayn and whatnot. So in this match, J JJ didn't really get involved that much. He got knocked out on the outside of the ring and pretty much had like a head injury the whole match. Like concussed the whole match and he's like, I can still do this. And as Seth Rollins pretty much just took on the bar by himself, who the bar and Seth Rollins all in the Royal Rumble match. Just want to make that clear or point that out. And Seth Rollins has really cool flame pants, but that's me jumping around. And just, it's a very underwhelming match. Jason Jordan finally tagged himself in, realized he's like, oh, don't feel well, tagged himself out. And Seth Rollins was like, I just been going about 10 minutes in this match. Why are you doing this to me? And the bar wins. The bar wins. Get a four-time tag team titles. Oh, speaking of the Royal Rumble, there's a segment where I forgot to mention it because I didn't write it in my notes, but I saw it on Twitter afterwards. But Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn was they beat down Ty Dillinger, who's the number 10 spot. And they beat down Ty, Ty Dillinger, and Sami Zayn's like, I got this. And he runs out to the ring, and Kevin Owens is like, okay, cool. He gets knocked out. And Kevin tweets. He goes, I thought you said you had that. Hilarious. Matter of fact, I'm showing it right now because it's just, it's, it's too funny. And he, he tagged Sami Zayn in a tweet. And he also has this look on his face like, it's just, it's funny. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are great. They're great. Great. So back to the Royal Rumble match. You get the Universal Tower match. You have Brock Lesnar versus Kane versus Braun Strowman. And really the two things that stood out to me in this match was Braun Strowman drop kick. Um, Brock Lesnar. It's always weird to see him drop kick. Um, Brock Lesnar need Brock Lesnar in the face, like really hard by mistake. Brock Lesnar retaliates with a legit punch to um, Sherman's head, and because for some reason you didn't see it, they just kept replaying it over and over again. You kept seeing the slow mo with like punch in the ear and like brawn head ricochets. It was weird and. Um, Mistake, but it turns to shoot real quick. And then went back to like you know a regular match, and you know who took the pin came. That was it. That was it. Oh, and Brian yelling threats like you didn't finish me, you didn't pin me, you didn't beat me. That was it. And then the women's Royal Rumble. Becky and Sasha started off the match. Becky um, went out somewhere in the middle. Sasha Banks became the women's Iron Man in this match. She went the longest. Um, Lita returns. You, she got you still got a chance. I think she did a moon saw on. I would say Sasha, Sasha and Becky, uh, Tori Wilson, Molly Holly, Vicky Guerrero, who kept saying excuse me, and then she gets tossed over the ring and just gets just goofiness all around. Um, Becky got, I said, Becky got eliminated in the middle. I already talked about that. Naomi is like the Coffee Kingston of the women's division. She does this miraculous save. He's a chair to scoot her way back into the ring. There's like a um, crawl on her feet. Or her hands, and then use the chair to kind of keep her feet off the ground, get back to the steps, gets in, and get immediately gets knocked out. Like, oh, I just want her to be a little bit longer. And her moon comes out with her injured arm from the gruesome match she had with. I can't think of the late. Oh, it's on my mind. I can't think of her name. For NXT, she's like the UFC fighter. Um, but Bassler, Shayna Bassler, I think it is. Shayna. She had a good match with Shayna. Very good storytelling match. And what's his name is Angie. She comes out to the ring. Oscar comes out. And um And Oscar comes out. 
also, I guess before Oscar, Oscar came at 25, I was looking at my notes there. Sorry about that, guys. I was just reading the thing I said. I, mean, I want to see somebody who does like a fantastic save and stay in the match. Talk to you, Naomi. Talk to you, Coffee Kingston, because you guys keep doing these crazy saves and y'all don't stay in that long. Or y'all don't win, which I guess this is the first ever Women's World Rumble, so there's, there's time for Naomi to win. But Coffee, come on, writers. Come on, writers. Do it. Imagine the history. And then you can do something like crazy storyline that um, the the f February and March reviews were, you know, oh, we decided to take this person's title match away because they lost it to somebody else, like Remember Stereo and Randy Orton. You know, hey, just talking. Throwing talks out there. If you're watching this WWE, you're probably not. You're probably like this dude talking for 15 minutes about this. Sorry, guys. But anyway, so Beth Phoenix returns. Um, she gets eliminated by uh, Natalia. Oscar comes out. Oscar see Amber Moon. She like lazzer her arm. I'm like Oscar is great. Oscar is hilarious. Yes, I love Oscar. Like she, her reaction to Amber Moon. They went back and forth a little bit. Amber Moon hit the um, her finisher, like the top rope stunner. I can't think of the name, her official name of it. I think the Eclipse. She hits, and uh, she gets taken out by Oscar. Then you have Carmella, who was screaming for no reason to me. Like, she just screamed for no reason at every point in the match. You can hear her most out of everybody. Like, no, no, help, help. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Help, help. Oh, no. She gets taken out. Um, Trish Rags is number 30. You have Trish versus Mickey from WrestleMania 22 rematch in the, in the ring. It was cool to see them go at it again. Mickey get eliminated by Trish. Everybody jumps Nia Jack, who's my pick, and she gets tossed out. Um... The final six is Banks, Trish, Natalia, the Bellas, and Asuka. And I was sitting here thinking like, okay, cool, cool. Okay, we'll, we'll see who goes. It's going to be Sasha, Natalia, or Asuka. Wrong. The final four becomes Banks, the Bellas, Asuka. And then it's the Bellas and Asuka after the Sasha Banks getting eliminated, eliminated by Nikki, I believe. And then Nikki eliminates Brie. And I'm like, they're not going to allow the Bellas to come back and win. Oh, one thing about this match. So you get the Bellas who got like a yes chant. Nikki, or Brie got a yes chant. Nikki got the John Cena sucks song. Michelle McCool is Undertaker's wife. She got the Undertaker chant. Lana got a Rusev Day chant. I just thought it was funny. I kind of wish Carmella got a big cast chant. Just, just because people, you know, the opposites of the, of the uh, their, their husbands or girlfriends. It's just been funny. It, it, I thought it would be funny. But, oh. We'll take it. We'll take it. So Nikki and Asuka go at it. I'm thinking there's no way Nikki's going to win when she just came back. No way. But Asuka came out the victory. And it was like, okay. So Asuka, Sisuke Nakamura going to WrestleMania. And then Ronda Rousey appears at the end of the match. And she does this. WrestleMania sign point. Like, Ronda, we get it. Like, I'm not sure she will come out and shake Oscar hands first and get her hands slapped away. Then she points at WrestleMania. I would have her looked at all of them, then point at WrestleMania, but she did this again. And then she went out, shake Seth McMahon's hand, and then she points at WrestleMania sign again. And I was thinking, like, why? Why is she pointing so much? But Ronda Rousey is probably a full time WWE superstar now. Good luck, Ronda. I know you love the WWE. Good to see you in WWE. I wish you the best. So that is my Royal Rumble review. Literally 18 minutes in. <laughs> All right, guys. Now it's time for the Raw review. So with this one, I was hoping um, that... I don't know. I wasn't hoping, but I was thinking, like, no, be cool. They had a women elimination chamber match, but I didn't think they were going to do it. I never thought they were going to pull the trigger, and Stephen McMahon pulled the trigger. That's one thing I would say about Stephen McMahon being, like, the head of office of Triple H. Like... She's really fighting, advocating for women's um, wrestling. I love it. I love every bit of it. I think the women should be able to do. And I think they are more than capable. Like, the fact that they didn't have... I think it's messed up. That the women didn't have great... Like, there wasn't allowed to have great matches back in the day. Like, in the mid-2000s. And I'm finally glad Stephen McMahon's allowing us to happen. Allowing them to go at it. Allowing them to put, you know, ladders, tables, chairs, all that. I'm so happy for this. And, um... They all deserve it. Like, they, they work their butts off. Sasha, Bailey, all of them. And they're going to have an elimination chamber match. I'm like, let's go. Let's 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 go. Let me just get blood. <laughs> no, don't. 
He can't do blood. It's PG. But we have an elimination chamber match now. And Asuka's like, okay, cool. But then Sasha Banks comes out and says, like, I'm ready for Asuka. And they have a match later tonight. By the way, this should be a WrestleMania match, but hey. I'll take it on Raw. And then the men's elimination chamber match. You have the qualifier matches. Three matches are qualified. You have Kane versus Braun Strowman in a last man standing match, which was a squash. Like, completely destroyed. Braun completely destroyed Kane. And then you have Elias versus Broken Matt Hardy. I guess Woken Matt Hardy. And then you have Cena versus Finn Balor. So, just kind of just don't say it off. Elias won his match at the Bray Wyatt interfered on the Jumbotron. Um... So Bray and Matt gonna continue their rivalry, and I'll save the final for last. The IC title match was a rematch. The Miz beat Roman Reigns again. Um, Rival beat Slater and Rhino. Stayed all the matches. It was a really match heavy. You love wrestling. It was a match heavy, um, like wrestling two nights. It was really good for Raw SmackDown. The Raw tag team titles on the line. The Bar versus Titus Worldwide in. Oh my gosh, Apollo Crews is so good in the ring. Just give him, come on, man. Come on. You, you gotta work on your script. Like, oh, make this a faction. Make Dana Brooke a part of Titus Worldwide. She started getting matches in wrestling as well because I wanted Titus Worldwide to win this match so bad. And I hope they're not done. I hope Titus Worldwide goes even longer because they had a good match. The crowd, however, was not getting behind it. Like, the crowd got behind Apollo Crews for like a quick second. He had his first hype up, but then later, like, all the stuff Apollo was doing, the crowd was kind of quiet. The, everybody was kind of quiet. And it wasn't fair. Like, those four guys put on a match. The bar is really good. Sheamus, you're a great. Cesaro, you're a great. Every time I watch you guys match with other people, I'm, like, actually intrigued to watch them. And, and the tag team chemistry you guys have, you, that's the reason you guys are tag team champions four times now. And while the writers put you in that situation, while Vince put you in that situation, it's a good job, guys. Uh, keep doing that. Keep doing the good work. The bar and ties worldwide. Love you guys' action. I wish you guys got more work, but hopefully you guys get more of a push. But this part of the blow off for you guys. But I'm glad you guys. Got I'm glad you guys got a title shot. Um, then, oh, let me talk about the boss. First up, the finale. The boss versus the princess of tomorrow. Is that her name? The princess of tomorrow. Was that Oscar's name? Princess? I thought it should be the Queen of Tomorrow. It is the Princess of Tomorrow. I forgot about that nickname. But anyway, WrestleMania match. Good match. Oh, give them 20 minutes. Let them go even longer. Like, good match. I, I want to see this match again on the grandest stage of them all. You might see this again. You might see Sasha Bank beats Alexa Bliss at Elimination Chamber. That's my pick. I already throwing that out there, but we'll wait. I might hold my predictions off to later. But yeah, they went back and that went back and forth. Great match. Great match. Uh, Oscar won. Oscar won. And then you had John Cena versus Finn Balor in the finale. And the winner goes to Elimination Chamber. Um, Cena was a little hesitant about the match. Like, he was kind of, like, dogging the fans. And then he did, like, a two-sweet. And Finn Balor tried to hit him with the, with the AA. And Balor kicked out both his AAs. And then Cena was, like, Cena was like, what can I do? What can I do? And Balor was getting at Cena. Like, Balor had a good showing. But unfortunately, um, Balor, Balor lost to Super AA from Cena. Cena goes on. Cena's like, I don't want to do it. Just want to get to WrestleMania. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe we'll get a, you know, maybe Finn Balor becomes a sixth person to get in. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how they're gonna do this. But I hope Finn Balor has a match at WrestleMania. He needs to have a match at WrestleMania. So we'll see. Give it time. It's a good Raw. Oh, and one more note before I jump to SmackDown. Raw had this really cool like graphics update where they show like the person, like they show like the person like what, Roman Reigns. They show Roman Reigns and he's doing something. Then they show him like stacked on these like stacks. So it was like Roman Reigns and then there's like a clip of Roman and then goes the Miz and there's a clip of Miz kind of like looking out and then like he doing some action in the ring and it's like stack IC title match. I thought it was kind of cool. I like the new graphics of Raw and the new color scheme. Love it. So SmackDown Live, however, it opened up with Sensei Nakamura coming into the ring, but they did a new graphic. They had like this one of this giant word. Like I want to say it wasn't the artist. It was not King of Strong Style. Maybe it was the artist. But it it it's all red and kind of like went across the screen. I was like, what what was that? Don't don't do that ever again. 
Shame on you. Shame on you. Um, and then throughout the night, you kept seeing little, like, like words pop up as people was talking. It's like, there's an arena that was talking, and that was, like, backstage, and they was talking. You see, like, tag team titles, this and that. Do, 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 top 10, like, all this stuff around. I was like, what's going on here? We, you already got our attention. Don't throw this in our face. And then the Usos had a really great promo in the ring, and they kept saying, lockdown. And there's, like, this bar kept locking it down. Like, lockdown. And bar, you see, I want to say it was Jimmy. Or Jay, no, it's probably Jimmy. He looked over to the screen to make sure he saw the uh, lock, lockdown sign. <laughs> so he knew what to say. It's cute. Lockdown. Shh. Like, who, who thought of that? Don't do that ever again. Don't do that ever again. But the Usos, they had this really cool walk to the ring, though, in the backstage. They're just sitting there talking. And they're walking as the camera's walking with them. And they're saying some stuff like this little, like, this, the light was dark and everything. And then uh, they walk into the light. So they walk out of the dark into the light, and the whole time I was thinking, like, they went to commercial break, then they went to a backstage segment, and now they're finally making it into the ring. Like, how far is that walk through the tunnel? <laughs> but uh, it was a federal four-way match. Oh, so Sami Zayn, back to opening the show. Sami Zayn and AJ Styles uh, confront Sami Owens, Sammy Owens. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, who in, like, interrupted Sinshke, so it's going to be a tag team match that night. Holla, holla, holla. That's, <laughs> as somebody else once noted, uh, Russell Talk once said, somebody did their best uh, Teddy Long version of SmackDown. There's a Federal Four match for number one contender for U.S. title. You had Coffee Kingston versus Rusa versus Jinder Mahal versus Zack Ryder. Um, everybody but Ryder had a group on the side. They all get kicked out after uh, Shamir or Sani. I think Sani was the one who interfered. Aiden English confronts him. He gets pushed into Big E and drops all Big E pancakes. Who Big E prior to was like messing with Corey Graves as Bobby Bobby Roo was on a like mic talking and Bobby Roo was trying to talk about something and Big E just constantly throwing pancakes at Corey Graves. And you can see as Bobby's trying to talk, he's dodging pancakes. It's hilarious. <laughs> Go watch that clip. But um, yeah, so everybody gets ejected. And then you have a really solid match though. You have Coffee Kingston. Rusev, like they're going to edit. Um, Zach Ryder's getting his stuff in. Jinder Mahal getting his spots in, and Rusev wins with a, a accolade to coffee. Coffee taps. I kind of, you know, I will take it. Um, but yeah, so Rusev's the number one contender who will face Bobby Roode next week in Kansas City for the championship. Let's see here. Bree Zongo, the fashion fan, had a, had a skit backstage. Um, we're talking about like, all, like following Twitter online. Gable and Shelton Benjamin comes out and they just kind of like, you know, starts a fight with Bree Zongo. See, I am, um, and I'm going to talk about that match already. I'm talking about the match now. Gable and Benjamin beat Bree Zongo. Done. See, the Uso talking, oh, I love the Uso because they did say this in their promo. It was like, in tag team, get run up. You run up, get done up. I was like, yes. I love this. I love them all. <laughs> their, their promo is so great. But then the Bludgeon Brother comes out as the Usos are leaving. So they have a cross pass. Why not? And then the Bludgeon Brother destroys some Jarvis. So it's going to be the Usos. Well, I think they should get the Usos in 2A. They're leading to it. Don't just let them write, let the writers do their thing. Um, Ty Dillinger. Talks to Shane McMahon about how he feels about how he got you know kicked out of the Royal Rumble. It wasn't fair. And then Baron Corbin interrupts and kind of just talks to uh, Shane McMahon. Completely forget about Ty Dillinger. And then Ty Dillinger pops himself back in the in the screen like, "Hey man, I've been here." And uh, he's like, "At least you got a shot." And then Baron's like, "Well, yeah, you didn't get a shot." He's like, "Yeah, like you missed yours." And he's like, "Yeah, like you missed your um, Money in the Bank Championship at Money in the Bank." briefcase and I was like oh no he did and <laughs> but um yeah so they have a match Baron Corbin wins obviously so then you have Charlotte comes out to the ring I'll probably do this all out of order guys so I'm sorry about that but yeah Charlotte comes out to the ring she gives a talk and about WrestleMania and Ronda Rousey and whatnot whatnot and then the Ruby Riot and her squad, the Riot squad, comes out and they interrupt Charlotte. And Charlotte's actually holding her own off at first. Like, she's doing really well. She's fighting all three off. I'm like, dang, dang, the Riot squad looking weak. Ah. 
And then the Riot Squad members finally get Charlotte. They get off the ring. They recoup, come back in, and jump down Charlotte. And I was hoping that somebody would got a chair and just hit Charlotte maybe three or four times. Just like, you know, just get a ruthless aggression. <laughs> but, you know, just hit her down three or four more times. You know, just, just to, like, solidify the point. Uh, but once Charlotte was down, Carmella came to the ring, about to cash in, and the ref was too slow starting the match. And as Carmella's like, she's like, come on, come on, please, come on. Like, <laughs> also, I love how she goes down. She kicks Charlotte. She kicks to see if she's okay. She's like, is she, is she, oh, she's still unconscious. Okay. And then she tried to, um, by the way, I was kicking my leg out. You can't see that, but I was kicking my leg out. But, um. Uh, she goes, looks down, kicks her, and goes, oh, okay. And then she's like, come on, ref, come on. And the ref's taking sweet old time starting the match. And then she, Carmella about to like, jump kick, like drop kick Carmella. And Carmella about to drop kick Charlotte. Charlotte jumps up the way, and the, and the ref gets kicked out the ring. And then Charlotte gets up like, okay, you want to go, Carmella? Let's go. And Carmella's like, nope. She gets her briefcase. Nope, I'm not doing it tonight. Mm-mm, ain't got the time. And she walks out. Carmella's grown on me. She's grown on me. She's growing on me. Um, the Usos, Pedal Four Way, the graphics, Benjamin Gable. Yeah, let's talk about the finish. Let's talk about the end of SmackDown. So AJ Styles and Nakamura versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. There's some distinction between Zayn's and Owens. They um kept butting heads with each other. Uh, Kevin Owens like, where were you, Sammy? Where were you? You didn't tag me in. Where were you? This and that. Like, Owens being very verbal to Sammy. Sammy's like, oh, I'm not helping you. I'm not helping you. I'm leaving. And Sammy's ain't about to leave. And he comes back and saves Owens. And then um, just more shenanigans happens. Actually, who gets bumped off? Yeah, Owens bumps bumps Sammy Zayn off. Sammy Zayn's like, I'm done. He leaves the match. And then Owens has to fend off AJ Styles and Nakamura by himself. Nakamura hit the Ken Sasa at the end of the match. Over. And Nakamura and AJ wins. And then backstage, I think Renee asked Sammy, she was like, are you and Kevin, sorry about that. I hit the screen. She said, are you and Kevin Owens done? He's like, no, we're not done being friends, but I want my opportunity. He already had his opportunity. Now it's time for me to get mine. So next weekend, or I guess next Saturday, next Tuesday, sorry, I want to say Saturday, but next Tuesday, it's Kevin Owens versus Sammy Zayn for a number one contenders match. I hope Sammy wins. I want to see Sammy and AJ just go at it. I want to go at it. But that's my review of SmackDown. What did you guys think? Please let me know in the comments section. And um, thanks for watching this episode of the Look Back Wrestling Show. See you next time. Keep being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment in the comment section below. And please subscribe for more episodes of Grind Towards Success movie breakdowns, or whatever it is you're watching on my channel. I have different stuff from interviews to other movie reviews to wrestling reviews. If you're a wrestling fan, please, please subscribe. If you want to see all that and see what's going on. Also, you can follow me on Snapchat here. Follow me on Instagram there to see what I'm doing in my personal life as well as my business and Ninja Warrior. And lastly, you can watch the last episode of Grind Tour Success here, you can watch the last episode of Movie Breakdowns there. Thank you guys once again. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Keep being awesome.